Hey guys, so this is the first video where I'm gonna uh, show you how to use the product Easy Banner Maker Pro, and we're gonna start with uh, the master banners. This is one of the parts of the product, and this is where it all starts. So, when you want to create your banners, you start here. Uh, there's eight different sizes to choose from, so there's pretty much every size that you need for a banner here. The most uh, used one is the 468 by 60. This is uh, the most popular banner size, but there's eight different sizes here that you can choose from. So uh, just choose the size that you want. For this example, let's choose uh, this 250 by 250. And then open it up in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I'm going to use Photoshop Elements in this example. So here we go. Once you have it inside Photoshop, and this basically applies to all of the other sizes, but I'm just going to show the 250 by 215 in this example. But uh, yeah, once you have it open in Photoshop Elements or Photoshop, uh, you can see if you go to the Layers palette that this uh, template is pre-installed with uh, background effects and shapes. And these are basically things that add some spice to your banner. And since they're pre-installed, you don't really have to do any creative work. It's all done for you here. Um, and the way you use them is you simply check or uncheck one of these uh, boxes here to add the special effect to the banner. You might have seen this in, in one of my other products, like Web 2.0 covers or Web 2.0 headers. It's the same idea here. But I've added some new uh, effects for, for these banner templates. And one of one other thing that you can do here is when you select the effect that you want. Okay, say you want this effect. You can also click on it inside the template and move it, move it around and put it in different locations. So, you know, you can move it up, you can move it down, and you can just play around with it to get the effect that you're looking for. And you can do this for all of these backgrounds here. Okay, you can move pretty much all of them. So say you like this one, you can position it in this corner here, in this corner, wherever you want. You can also uh, combine more than one effect into into one, so you get all kinds of different, you know, more complicated combinations. So that's one part that I wanted to show you. Okay, so let's just choose this effect here and just let's put it at the bottom. Uh, the other part is the backgrounds, and these are background shapes that uh, break up the banner into different sections. So, again, these are pre-made for you, so you don't have to create them from scratch. So if, if you don't know how to create these curvy effects, uh, you get them here pre-created for you. And just like the backgrounds, you can move these shapes around to get different uh, effects and looks. You know, I've created some, uh, some of these like wiggly round shapes. And you can pretty much customize them and move them around in any way you want. You can also rotate these things and create all kinds of unique, you know, breaks in your banner. And you can also use more than one at a time. So you can break up the banner into different sections like this. Uh, another thing you can do to these shapes is uh, add some colors to them so it doesn't have to be black so to add a color just go to the shape click on it uh, go to edit fill layer uh, choose color here and then choose the color that you want so just click on the color that you want and uh, click OK and the background shape uh, gets a different color so you can make it white whatever other color you want um, so as you can see these things are pretty highly customizable there's a lot of variety here to choose from so you have like little corners here so if you want to make it say click here or put new like 
put some kind of text in there, you can do that. You can move this corner piece into another corner if you want. You know, put it to the right, to the left, the bottom, top. Um, there's another corner piece that you can use. Okay, so it's basically... It makes it very easy for somebody who's new to design to create all kinds of you know cool looking effects and and, uh, and things that you wouldn't normally know how to do from scratch yourself. So again, yeah, there's a quite a variety of things here that you can play around with. Each one of these shape shapes is pretty big, and you can move it up and down, and to the left and to the right. It has all kinds of varieties of uh, how you can make it look. So just play around with them yourself. You know, rotate them, resize them by just clicking and dragging on one of the corners. And basically, just, yeah, just play around with them. And in the next video, I'm going to show you another part of the package, which is the copy and paste elements. So I'll see you in the next video.